video is specifically for young athletes who get advice from adults. You know, I work with young athletes every day from all over the world in my office and by Skype. And you know, a common issue that I see quite often is that the young athletes, they might think they know everything they need to know and, and don't need to take advice from parents or others in their sport, especially the parents. Now, we all know there's a natural drive and motivation for teenagers and young people to want to establish their independence as a person. But that's not a reason to ignore suggestions that could really help you in your sport. Yeah, you certainly do need to make your own decisions and, and fire yourself up to want to get to your next level. You can't depend on others to do that for you and expect to be great, right? You know that. But there is a perfect balance point. You want to continuously strive to reach it. This balance point I'm talking about, it means that you learn to discard the things that you know won't work for you. Like say something a coach says that's for the whole team, but not really for you while also still remaining open to discovering that nugget of truth, that brilliance that maybe your parents have learned along, the, along their way from their own experiences and that can help you. There's a balance between those two. Listen up for a minute, young athletes. I was your age once, you know, and at every age, you don't know what you don't know, including me right now at this age. And I'm going to be direct for a moment here. By just being alive on this planet longer than you, your parents, adults, they have a view of the world that is different than yours. Yes, they don't know what it's like to be you. That's true. You are unique and things are definitely different than when we were young. That's for sure. But that doesn't mean you throw out the baby with the bathwater, so to speak. Frankly, your best bet is to always hear them out. You may not like what you hear, but I promise you, 99% of the time they are telling you from a place of trying to help you. That's their intention. You've got to always keep that in mind. Yes, you get to ultimately decide if you want to take their advice and act on it. You know, for example, if, if dad says, maybe it looks like you're out there playing scared and, and you don't think that's so, it's still in your best interest to consider what he's saying might be true, even if you don't think so. I promise you, even if it isn't true, you waking up, being open to the possibility of this is only going to help you. More knowledge is better than less. You know, it might make you work harder, might make you look for solutions to fears, even if you're not experiencing now, preventing them. By the way, this is what my Mental Toughness Academy is all about. Whatever you do, don't stay in denial because you're only hurting yourself. I can't tell you how many times I've heard a story like this. A parent says to me, Craig, I've been telling him what you've been saying here for years. Why is it that when you say it, he or she hears it? And I answer, one, because I'm not the parent. There's no natural block to hearing it from me. And I teach in such a way that I work to get the athlete to come to his or her, her own conclusions. I don't just tell them directly what I think they need to do. Parents, you need to read my free book, The Ten Commandments for a Great Sports Parent, to learn how to do this. Athletes, keep your mind open about what your parents want to help you with. It can only help you and there's no downside to at least listening. Keep working on your mental game and I'll see you in the winner's circle.